Hi everyone, welcome back to Joanne Tech Lover. I'm Joanne, and today I will be unboxing this Funk MS3 gaming mouse. And one thing I definitely have to say about this right off the bat is just it is so comfortable. There is a couple things I want to go over on the box, and that is the R2 stands for Revision 2, and they have new features for this mouse. So you get 10 million cycle, click cycle, on run switches, so it's very durable, and you also get better Windows 8 support, firmware updater, extended macros, as well as improved scroll wheel, and some other things. So that's all I want to talk about here. Now let's see what you get in the box. You get this funk paper, what is this? Attention, if you have an outdated USB controller driver, uh, here's what you do, blah, 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 yes. And then you also get driver software, software settings. I generally just download it directly from their website because usually they have the most up-to-date software. Now, last but not least is the user guide. And I, what I love about funk is, it's just pretty, you know? Everything, their user guides, it's just nice to look at, you know, it's easy to, this is what the software looks like, but I'll have it OBS for you, of course. And, you know, it's it's a functionality perfected. That is their motto, right? Alrighty, now here's the actual mouse, but before I go into deeper about the mouse, I did want to talk about the cable. So here is this uh, braided cable, I believe, more stiff braided. I actually, you know, after playing like uh, certain games, I prefer the lighter rubberized cables. Um, they don't get, you know, uh, bunched up as much. But of course, if you have a bungee, this should be less of a problem. And also, you get uh, how many feet? Six and a half feet or two meters of this braided cable. There's also this uh, gold plated USB, I believe. T two connector um, and gold plated is really just to help it from uh, corroding and stuff like that. Here's a closer look at the mouse. First thing is the design. I know it looks kind of big and it is a little big for my hands uh, but once I got used to it it's actually just really comfortable. Do you see how well my forefinger and my pinky rest on these two grooves here? It's it's just top-notch and you also get the soft rubberized finish across the entire top of the mouse and that's not something I see a lot. Usually it's just in the front or on the sides for grip and usually this is better for grip and it's a matte finish so you won't get like all kinds of crazy fingerprints on there unless you eat, I don't know, like fried chicken all the time and then you're just like, fried chicken fingers. <laughs> okay, um, but let's get down to the buttons, shall we? There are 12 programmable buttons. Of course, you get your left and right clicks. You have to have a left click. So um, for me, it's more like just 11, but you can program it anywhere. So it's 12 programmable buttons. On the thumb panel, you get this kind of round small button right here. And this on default, I believe, is the sniper button. And that just lowers your DPI drastically. So when you hold this button down and move your mouse around, you get much more precise movements on that low sensitivity. Now, of course, you also get standard forward backward buttons that uh, I generally, you know, set these to, uh, you know, a grenade or melee or something like that. And then you get this button on the bottom. This uh, is just a little bit harder to press, but maybe I just have weak fingers, I don't know. <laughs> but on default, this is mute for your, you know, PC. And you could set it to, I'm not sure what would you necessarily set this bottom button to. What I like about it is it's easy to access, it's not awkward. When my thumb is on here, it just kind of floats to the bottom to press this button. I believe it's in a very good placement. Now, at the top here, you have your profile switch button. You can program everything like I did mention. However, some buttons I just want to leave the same. Like for example, DPI up and DPI down. And there will be a little indicator sliver of LED here to show you which one you are on. And I believe you also get scroll up, scroll down. That's another two buttons and scroll click. Now, I believe that covers it for the buttons, right? So you got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's right. Now on the bottom, you do get some uh, glide pads here as well as this sensor. So this is a 5670 DPI, which is terribly specific. I usually hear like 5000 or 8000 or something like that. Um, and this is a, uh, an Avago ADNS 9500 laser sensor. 
have the mouse plugged in so I can go ahead and show you the LEDs. They are a bit faint even on the highest luminosity. However, um, when I look at it in person, it is brighter than what you see on the screen. Right now it's set to pulsate, so there are those levels. Pulsate, you could do fast, slow, or you could just have static or off, I believe. And um, on the side, we also get uh, LEDs for this, and I changed these to Joanne Tech Lover colors, uh, of course. <laughs> now let's check out the LED right in the sliver of a corner. If you can kind of tell, there's one already on for the DPI. So we're going to improve this. And I have to admit, that's something I actually don't like about it. <laughs> it's just you can barely see it, but at least there, it's better than nothing, I guess. So there you have it. Oh, and also, let me change to the different profiles. And one thing I don't like is that sometimes it's not that sensitive. So I have to like press it multiple times to get to this different profile. So, and then last one, come on. So sometimes it's fast and sometimes it's not. And this is the last one. So there's like just another small gripe with it. Here's a look at the Funk MS3 software, and I really like the look of their software, especially with the KB460. It's just very clean and nothing is very confusing. You just go through it and you're like, that was easy. So right now we are on profile one and you get three profiles that you can set onto the mouse itself. I love onboard memory because of the whole plug and play. And even though Synapse 2.0 is great, but you know, you always have to be like, connected to cloud. Anyway, so back to the funk, uh, you do get the 512 kilobytes of onboard memory to store these. So profile one, and if you want to go to two, just click on it. If you want to go to three and click on that and change the settings on there. Now, every setting that you change, you'll have to hit apply or it won't save it to the mouse. So that's something important to know. Now in basic settings, let's go over what's available here. So right now in DPI, the step one, I like to keep it around a comfortable 1800. But let's say you want to, you know, not use the instant aim button for your uh, very low sniping DPI and you want this to be low. So let's say you want it to be maybe 450. Once you get there, go ahead and hit the apply. And there is a little bar telling you that it's almost done. But let's go ahead and change it back to 1800, shall we? That is the lowest that I personally like to go, as I don't really play too many FPS, mainly just uh, MMOs. So go ahead and uh, hit apply here. And not only can you change both axes, but you can change independently. So for some of you, it might be very, very helpful. Now it's very simple, simply just Click this and I is on, O is off. <laughs> That's how I think of it. And you can go ahead and change this to 15, maybe this to 2300, and there you have it. So let's go to step two. I like to be a comfortable 2400. And what I kind of don't like about this is that I wish I could just type in the DPI to be more precise. As let's see, if you just move it a little, it's like 23 and then 24. But what if you want exactly 24? And then there's step three. 3000, I generally don't like to go higher than that unless I have like more than three monitors set up and they are at like at least two to 4K uh, resolution. And then there is instant aim, which is, they have set for you at 90. So if you hold down the button, I'm gonna show you, I'm going in circles, I'm very, very slow. So it's a lot easier to aim. And I'd say for FPS, sniper buttons are pretty amazing. So there is that, and down below is pointer sensitivity. You can go ahead and slide this bar to change that, as well as lift off, distance, low, mid, high, and they even have angle snapping. If you enable it, then you'll be able to draw that very, very straight line. <laughs> Could be very good for crosshairs. Anyway, um, and there's also pointer acceleration as well as double click speed. So as you can see, there's actually a lot of options that come with the software, which is very bueno. <laughs> um, and scroll speed. This is not something that I generally see on software settings for mice. So it's kind of cool, I wanna show you. Right now it's on one and you can even do it by page. So it'll scroll like one page at a time. And I just wanna bring this up for you, this page. And right now, this is the scroll speed and I'm scrolling pretty fast with my fingers anyway. <laughs> now, if you wanted to change that to 10, I'd say six is pretty moderate because if I'm reading something, I don't want to scroll that fast. But let's go ahead and apply. Kind of wish it would apply faster. I wonder if it's my fault. <laughs> anyway, so come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alrighty, now let's go here. Now when I'm scrolling, do you see how much faster that is? Yeah. That's cool. I'm very easily amused. 
Yes, I am. I'm going to bring it back to six and hit apply. Now, um, below that, you have the polling rate. So obviously, if your computer can handle it, you should probably go for a thousand hertz because that means it's just less lag. However, it's a little bit more taxing on your CPU. So hmm, what's the trade off, right? Now, I believe that is uh, everything on this page and you can restore everything to default if you're like, oh no, I messed up. I, I just want to start from the beginning or something like that. Now let's go to button assignment. And this is where you'll be able to, you must have a left click by the way, but this is where you can do default commands, windows commands, media functions. I like that they give you these options. So, you know, you don't have to go look for it or whatnot. And then a recorded macro, I've already done QWERTY and testing. I'll show you how to do that. If you don't have any macros here, it will take you to macro editor. Now there's also single key assignment or disable key. So you have plenty of options. And the only thing that I have a problem with is that it still doesn't have macro delay, much like the KB460 keyboard that I showed you the software for but I believe this is more for FPS gaming so that's not really a big deal but for MMOs I have to have the macro delay. Now um, also would have liked if I could just click into these buttons because some software I could just click the buttons and then go straight into assigning them but here I have to kind of like match the number with uh, the uh, left column here but it's not it's not like it's all that difficult so what you do is right now I've already set it for three enough that's really just the FPS Titanfall buttons that I generally use and uh, profile cycle DPI buttons I generally do not change because I don't really see a point to and what's really cool is you can do scroll up and down that is not a uh, programmable function on every mouse so that is a huge plus and I really think for the price this mouse does really well I mean funk overall price wise they give you lots and lots of features so let's go to a uh, single key assignment and you uh, just I'm just gonna assign key one so okay it's gonna be key one and then key assignment um, I already did this before but you could just click or click this uh, let's just do two and click OK and hit apply of course and there it goes so slow <laughs> or maybe I'm just really impatient and let's bring up the notepad I'm gonna scroll up scroll down scroll up scroll down oh my god so fast okay yes but yes it's quite amusing now let's bring this back down and let's go to color settings so in the color settings on profile one two three obviously they're all different I changed it to uh, Joe and Tech Lover colors, but let's actually go to profile two so I can change it up for you. Let's say you want this bright green and you want it to pulsate. Just go ahead and hit that. And uh, actually, let's not pulsate for profile two because I did it for profile one. And then you could ooh, choose a pulsate for the side button too. So you can choose two different colors for this. It's pretty amazing. And let's say I want to do this color. So there's saturation, you can make it lighter, brightness, and you simply hit apply and it has been applied to your mouse. Let's go to a very important section, which is the macro editor. So in here, this is where you will create your macros. Simply hit record. And what do I want to record? Joanne test lover. <laughs> yes, uh, someone actually told me you should totally do that. And then I'm like, okay. Um, anyway, and we will call this Joanne Test Lover and save it. Okay, there it is. And then let's create another one. Here, I'm just going to slowly type out W, A, S, D. Alrighty, and then stop record. And yes, this is the place where you. Uh, write the title of it and uh, go ahead and save that because if you don't it, it, I don't think it's going to save properly and then let's go back to button assignment there is this button on the bottom on default it is mute but I like to let's see I like to make it a different function so let's do a macro for this let's do Joanne did I, did I do Joanne Tech Lover? Hold on I meant test lover, whatever. I must have written it wrong, but let's apply this. Alrighty, now let's go here and then press the bottom button. Join test lover, join test lover, yay! <sighs> okay, now let's bring this down and go ahead and go to that uh, WASD because I want to show you that it, it doesn't record delay at all. I mean, I did not see any uh, 
um, option for that as well. So I typed it out slowly, but I'm going to go ahead and hold this down. You see, it just all comes out at the exact same time or very similar and then um, in quick succession. So it's just not very great for MMOs. And uh, I believe that does cover it. There's Backup Restore, you get a firmware updater, and then if you click this, it'll take you to uh, their website, actually. So let's go here. It says Funk MS2. What is your, what is that, what is that? <laughs> Alrighty, so um, I believe this covers it for the software portion. It's time for pros and cons. So what do I like about it? The major pro that uh, I can think of is the price. It's under 60 bucks and you get this very ergonomic layout, all of this soft touch finish, um, as well as 12 programmable buttons. I mean, that is insane. And the software, software is pretty sweet. And um, also braided cable, but you know, it's not something that, uh, I mean, like I said, I kind of like the lightweight of the rubber cable, but for some, it's definitely a pro. It's more sturdy, I suppose. And also, uh, I believe that's it for pros. Let's move on to cons, actually. The major cons or problem I have with this mouse is the uh, LED lighting. The profile button isn't as sensitive. Sometimes it doesn't uh, jump to the profile right away when I should just click once and it goes. And also the lighting is a bit faint. Would have liked it to be a bit brighter, intensity higher. Um, um, especially with the DPI area. But aside from that, I would say, I mean, hey, for 60 bucks, I'll take it. Well, that wraps up this overview unboxing of this Funk MS3 R2 gaming mouse. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I really liked unboxing it and testing it out and all that good stuff. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, be sure to hit the like comment and subscribe button as well as uh, follow me on social media joanne tech lover facebook fan page joanne food lover twitter and twitch.tv slash welltune where i game stream with tim weekly also please don't forget to donate so you can help expand this channel and feed this techie so i can bring you more of the tech that you want to see one last thing is be sure to check out my store mv store where i sell eight and a half by 11 inch autograph prints browse at your leisure and purchase to your heart's content all right i guess all that's left to say is Love you much.